300 meters into Slovenia. Of course, this was once a very, very difficult border to cross. Now, uh, I hope it's going to be a lot, a lot easier since Slovenia is in the European Union. That's the border control point. And just me, me, me here. So I've now driven into Slovenia. We can see here the, the speed limits which are acceptable. 100 kilometers now on a normal road, so that's over the average, and 130 on the motorway. So instead of 90 and 130. And Britain it's even less of course. I won't be uh, a great deal of time in Slovenia. All the same, it's uh, something new to see. I'll possibly uh, go back into Italy, unless there's another option, in which case I might go in directly into Austria. I haven't quite decided yet. When this was Yugoslavia, of course, the border control would have been much uh, stronger than that. Um, I have never been to Slovenia since it became independent. I uh, have been to... Um, I was in Yugoslavia, uh, the, what would have been Slovenia, of course, then. Um, in 1985, I went to... Uh, I remember very distinctly, for example, the uh, being in um, at the railway station in Ljubljana, and there was the, um, we were waiting for the train at night, all of us from uh, Western Europeans, uh, with the interrail cards, and, uh, it, the, and there was cows mooing in the, in, in the station while we were there on, 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 on a freight train. And the freight train was actually parked in the first, uh, on, on, on uh, the, the uh, platform number one. Going on to uh, Belgrade, uh, we found a situation uh, which was, which was uh, uh, even not even much worse. Although there were several trains went past, which was rather surprising. Uh, several trains went past, and uh, we couldn't get on the trains. They were so packed with people, but there was so much choice of train that it didn't really make any difference, as it turned out. Now that day, we crossed the border in Maribor from from Austria uh, with our interrail cards, and then we went uh, we went south. Uh, we went uh, we went into Greece, and then across Greece into Turkey. Wonderful uh, weather today. Very sunny, very nice. I'm glad I came this way now. It's uh, something completely new to see. Unfortunately, I didn't get to Trieste, but I did learn that the, there is a museum in the San Saba, uh, former camp at San Saba. Uh, the rice mill, so uh, that, anyway, that's something for the next time. This is the village of Robic, it's the first village I've come to in Slovenia. It has this wonderful view of the mountain behind it, and uh, we hear the sheep. And I uh, just saw a gentleman go past who spoke to me nicely whilst uh, riding his bicycle. And uh, it's, it has a very exotic feel to it. For those who are interested in this quarter, it's a type of exotism, of course. So I find this, uh, this really ap appeals to me. Uh, other than the one gentleman that went past on his bike, the place seems to be completely and utterly deserted. And I'm normally a bit embarrassed about talking to the camera as I walk, but in this case I'm not. Oh, and there's the sheep. Oh, they're goats, I'm sorry. There's the goats. And the goats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I was right the first time. They are, in fact, sheep. Slovenian sheep. <laughs> Nah. 
So you see there, there's the road to a place where you can go if you've got some cred. <gasps> oh wow. What a beautiful place this is. Wonderful. Lovely colour sky as well. So as I drive out of Robic, I've got to say I'm very impressed already by Slovenia. Very impressed. It's a beautiful place, so far. It's probably all downhill from now, but at the moment it's beautiful. So I've stopped to get out the car, only a few hundred metres further on. See the view. Wonderful alpine scenery. We can hear the church bells. I wonder if those bells are in Italy or in Slovenia. It's a fantastic place. I wouldn't mind staying here longer.